What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Frankie de Jong, the 88. So there is obviously a difference with this card and as you can imagine, very much like Gundogan, we have already got a higher rated version. So we have already got an 89 road to the knockout, which is currently coming in at about 608,000 coins. I believe they are safe from the upgrade now or they have been upgraded. Um, obviously, we've got the 88 inform, which like I say, with a lot of these promo cards is the inform doesn't count towards them um, especially if they have gone up in in rating they don't necessarily go up with them like for instance if Dion got a player of the month that was 92 the next inform would probably be 89 still or, or 90 still so it is an interesting one with this with De Jong, I do like that the price obviously is halved it's about 335 at the moment so losing a little bit of money on him probably should have bought him later on we learn from their mistakes but we did actually make some from Virgil so quite Quite happy with that at the very minimum he is a four star three star and he is a very good center mid i think over the past couple of years from team of the years uh, team of the year versions as well as informs he has actually been quite a very very nice center mid and he is quite balanced throughout to be honest he is 511 high medium with the right foot and he has got outside of the foot shot he's also got flair so obviously two decent uh kind of attacking traits there nothing necessarily defensive and obviously the chem style people are going to go with is a shadow they want to get the maxed out on obviously that pace but then also because he's more box to box i think he's better off with a the 93 and 89 short and long pass but then also more defensive ability turns him into an 89 dm 88 cm or 87 cam with the shadow on obviously it takes his defended from 78 all the way up to 86 with some very very good stats so that is going to be what we're going to put on him and it does give him 92 pace at the minimum He's got fantastic stamina, average strength and aggression. Obviously, his dribbling stats are quite good. He's not necessarily somebody who's going to absolute mince meat 10 players, but most definitely he will be able to hold the ball and get them passes off. And I'm expecting that from him. We've used his gold card um, a few times, but this is going to be the test with his inform to see is it better than his 87 and is it worse than his 89 again these ratings are very very minuscule because it is one rating either side so he's probably going to be somewhere literally like he is now in the middle but i don't think you're going to really notice a massive massive difference between him so let's jump into him we'll whack the shadow on him and let's get into de young de young fits in a bit of Fakir who's going to get absolutely nailed there. Can we steal the ball? No, he's going to go for a pass out wide. De Jong doing very well to nearly fit him in there. That is exactly the passing that we're looking for from him. And like I say, if you can get any high rated De Jong version, like we're talking 90 plus, he is a phenomenal, that's poor, a phenomenal center mid. De Jong seeing it out. What am I expecting from him? Little, little pass there. Lovely into Fakir. He's going to try and find Greasy, who's going to lose the ball out. But again, De Jong is showing his passing ability. And I think that is naturally going to be one of his really best features. I know it was something that I did notice in his gold version. That just he just really can pass a ball. And that is just genuine kind of stats right there. De Jong again. He's going to fit in a bit of Fakir. Nothing too fancy with that one. Looking for some sort of defensive ability there. Does manage to win the ball back, Ah De Jong. And then again, it's just poor passing for myself. Really need to, to kind of wake up with them passes, to be honest with you. Cannot be giving the ball away so easily. De Jong looking for that ball into Fakir. Nothing again special. Going to look for that ball again. De Jong making the run. I thought Kimpembe was going to follow. Oh my, and he nearly gets it. Great right out from De Jong. Still manages to hold it past um, Ginola, I think that was as well. Very, very nice strength play. Holds the ball, manages to get it out. And then, to be honest, that's my doing of uh, just giving the ball away instant. De Jong with the interception. But then Ginola is going to just pickpocket him out of nowhere. Frankie most definitely is a fantastic player. Showing you what he can do literally up and down the pitch. And I can also show you how many times I can give the ball away, which is always fantastic. But genuinely, he is a brilliant player brilliant player he just naturally gets the ball gets it forward and then obviously makes the runs himself but also is there for the pass as well if we could get that chip only if he was on side ah he was i thought i thought he was offside 
De Jong, perfect. Plays that defensive role to an absolute T as the last man defender. So we're going into big boy Frankie then. So he's coming in at about 350 at the moment. Obviously, we kind of just had to get rid of ours, to be honest. We lost a few coins today. I did expect them to kind of be up a little bit more. But again, you win some, you lose some with them. Obviously, Virgil um, did make a little bit of coins, which was actually quite nice. But Frankie is always going to be solid. We whack the shadow on him, which obviously gives him that pace increase. It then gives him the defending increase. And the big kind of thing that you're thinking is, which one's better? The road to the knockout or obviously his inform. Obviously, the road to the knockout is going to naturally be better. It is, or oh, It has got more of a chance as well to go up, which is even better as well. I don't think he's gone up as of yet. I don't think it was an 88 to begin with. But in terms of kind of the difference, like I said, right at the start, you're not going to notice a difference. He plays just as good as his gold card and he plays just as good as his road to the knockouts, bar from their milliseconds. The seconds that you cannot physically see, the turn that is one tenth of a second faster than the last card. It's just naturally when you look at a card like this, I think you're going to have to be looking at like a 90 to 91 to really see a little bit more of a difference. That is just naturally how I work. I say a plus two you might see a little bit plus three you should see an increase a plus one is just very very minuscule upgrades unless it is one of them ones where his shooting is soared through the roof but his defending is dropped to nothing if that's the case then obviously you should see a bigger difference there but when you're looking at plus what three on the pace it's not really going to do anything two on the shooting one dribbling one physical and three defending it is just not enough to notice that massive difference the only thing that you are getting and that is why the price is so high is the fact that he upgrades again that is just naturally how that works if he was kind of an inform say if uh, we got an 89 second inform he'd be chilling at about 450 500k there's no way that it'd be 600k right now so overall for me i think De Jong is definitely a fantastic center mid probably one of the better ones in la liga at the moment um personally if i was looking at a kind of like a a mid free i'd be looking at parejo obviously an sbc i'd be looking at De Jong and then maybe lorente or fakir depending on how attacking i want that midfield to be so he is making the top spot obviously he's coming in at quite a high price um, at the moment and i think he will drop down heavily as we go through rewards as we go through upgrade packs and also um, any spc packs it's just naturally how it works but overall for me i think de Jong is coming in as this card as about a 9.4 i think the thing the the things that i'd like to change is obviously everything to go up even more always strength and aggression i'd love a little bit more defending i'd like a bit of a better better base stat i'm not too fussed about the shooting being that high as long as it's gonna kind of got an average feel to it I'd love a four star weak foot and then other than that i think that's all i really wanted to be upgraded balance would go up naturally it's not necessarily holding him back right now but i think if we go forward into like a 92 to 95 de Jong, obviously going towards more team of the season cards i cannot wait to see how well the upgrade works we saw him last year with his team of the season and that was fantastic so i've got big big hopes for this one as well so if you did enjoy make sure you do like and subscribe and i'll see you all for the next one peace